Is that a monolith? I finished preparing the bottles. Gotcha, Gold. Guess that's all the hellhounds in town. The epidemic here should settle at least a little bit now. Yeah, but only momentarily. It was not done in vain. The malevolence has subsided considerably. Feels like the malevolence has been lifted somewhat, don't you think? Indeed it has. But we still need to find a way to bring the drake down. Saray, can you head to the base of the great tree? Huh? Oh yeah, sure. to do, Edna? Wait here. For whom? <sighs> For me, silly. I wonder where Edna went off to. Who knows what goes on in her head? 
I'm back. What is wrong with you? Huh? A attack? I'm here to help! Heard tell you folks could be using an extra jolt of power. We just might. If I combine attack's power with my arrows, we can bring down the Drake! Edna told me that y'all are trying super duper hard to fix things up. If this glum bum town gets back on its feet, folks might finally remember the place of art in a civilized society. Thank you, Edna. I just thought it might work. And here it comes. Drat, it's so dark I can barely see it. That's a good thing. You can fight without worrying about humans catching sight of you. Hey, good thinking. So how exactly should we go about shooting this thing down? That I don't know. Tonight's supposed to be a full moon. All we need is some light. The clouds are receding. Let's look for a place where we can aim our shot with the aid of the moonlight. This is it. shot is enough. Saray, I'll do the aiming. Right, and I'll pick when to fire. Now! Nice! Serious. You should know the difference in size and scale a dragon has by now. We are here to do whatever must be done. That's right. As we are now, we can do it. Whatever. Try not to die out there. Blue Flurry! I won't lose! This isn't over! I won't lose! Here goes! Fire! Blue Flurry! Bursting Spear! Awake! 
trouble. We did it! We beat the dragon! It was just a drake. Sure, we might not be strong enough to beat a dragon yet, but... Yeah, we will get there someday! The flames of purification. Might you be the shepherd? So, you must be Marlins. Guardian Seraph Rohan. Or should I say, I was. I very nearly became a dragon. I have no right to continue protecting this town. Don't say that. Seraph Rohan. I am Alicia Difta, Princess of the Kingdom of Highland. It is we who must bear the blame. We who corrupted the hearts of the people and set you on the path to becoming a Hellion. But I assure you that I shall set things right. If you must punish anyone, let it be me. So please, if it's still possible, let us have your blessing just this once. You're an impassioned young princess, I'll give you that. You can see me? Yes. I have pledged myself as Soray's squire. Have you? And you're okay? Huh? Uh. I see. The malevolence in town has lowered significantly. You're the one who dispelled it? We all did. Hmm. Then so be it. I'll extend my blessing. I want to help too! Thank, Thank you, you so much. It appears the corruption has yet to spread to this tree. Using this as a vessel, I shall expand the Blessed Domain. What's this? What happened? There's still a mega powerful Hellion running around near here. The domain it's creating is in the way, and we can't stop the invasion of the lesser Hellions. A major Hellion? Where? To the southwest. It isn't far. Saray, we must defeat it. But if we leave the town in this state. With your guards all a-sleeping and your hellions all a-creeping. Sorry. Sorry, I just blinked out for a second there. You need a rest. In. Now. Indeed. Good ideas will surely come after we take a breather. Hmm. The young shepherd's starting to deteriorate. I ought to be more understanding. Deteriorate? You really found yourself a peach of a shepherd. <laughs> Good on you. Why, thank you. You two go way back, don't you? There was a time once when the Norman Seraphim and I traveled together. Lila was like an idol to us. At one point, all 49 of us begged her to make us her sublords. You didn't go for it? Um, no. Let's all just be friends, she told us. 
What a cruel woman. Well, 49 is a bit much. The trauma nearly killed us! We all scattered over the globe to be alone with our melancholy. What? Surely that wasn't necessary. You sadistic harpy. I don't think I'm a harpy. Ah, it's all good. Us Norman, we roll with life's punches. We all treasure it as a bittersweet memory from when we was carefree young'uns. This nostalgia trip is boring me, but it's true that Norman have useful abilities. If we find any more, let's catch him. It'd be sad if they turned into hellions. I'd get a kick out of seeing my old buddies again. I promise we'll help you folks out. How could this have happened? How are you feeling? Right as rain. Good. We don't need a sick shepherd. That'd be bad! <sighs> and precisely how long had you been saving that one? <laughs> Looks like we've got our saray back. The shepherd. Perfect timing. Agil! We heard about the bridge. You're a superstar! Well, you know. You know? Well, whatever. Anyway, we need you to sign for this. Huh? Me? More medicine. It was ordered by a guy named Naif. Yes, you're right. Also a message. I found a group of mercenaries headed toward Marland and asked them to protect the town, but they refused me. I have asked for additional reinforcements from Lady Lake, but it will take some time. That's all. Mercenaries! They might work in a pinch! Can mercenaries stand against the Hellions? Probably not the Hellhounds, but they might be able to handle lesser Hellions. They are vicious, but they are visible. And little. But they already refused the guard job. I could try asking again as sincerely as possible. Wouldn't hurt to go try. Thanks for passing along the message. Hey. 
Why are you going through all this trouble anyway? Why? I mean, you can't just not help people in trouble. Hmm. I get it. I get that you're weird. Now, where is the medicine going? The sanctuary. Gotcha. Oh, hey. You didn't happen to run into a group of mercenaries on the way here, did you? You mean the woodsmen? They came with us. I think they're probably still in town. They said they were going to stock up. and get your supplies. We can't be wasting time in a crazy town like this one. What happened? Wild dogs were attacking the sanctuary, but these guys put them down. Gotta admit, that was some fine teamwork. Those dogs are Hellions. And no pushovers either. Well, for a human anyway. Excuse me, may I ask you a favor? Huh? You're talking to the woodsman, bub. We don't do babysitting. And we won't get your kitty out of a tree. It's about a job only you guys can handle. I'm the leader, Lucas. What's this job you speak of? We want you to protect Marlin for a little while. Yeah, we were asked that before, but turned it down. Ain't taking no chances guarding over a place that's diseased. Hey, boss. The kid you're talking to is the shepherd. The miracle bridge maker? This scrawny little duckling? You're pulling my chain, right? We found a way to bring Marlin back to how it was, but we have to leave town to do it. And the guards here aren't in a condition to fight because of the epidemic. So you want us to handle it, huh? We do the grunt work so you can get the glory. Is that how it is? It's nothing of the sort. Huh, <laughs> so you say. What do you need? Let me tell you something, Mr. Shepard. Money talks and horse crap walks. If you're serious about it, put your cash on the table, then we'll talk. How about it, Mr. Shepard? Well, well. Looky here. The Shepard comes through. Guess we really can trust you after all. You trust whoever gives you money? And what else, pray tell, should be my motivation? Duty, chivalry? Let's say this epidemic kills one of my subordinates. Will duty and chivalry step in to take care of his grieving family? W well But if I have money, I can make sure they've got a safety net. That's the kind of contract I have with my team. And that's why in return, they're willing to put their lives on the line. <sighs> you need to start facing reality, sister. Facing reality, huh? So, you want us to guard the town, huh? We'll take the job, but on one condition. In return... Can we do whatever we want to this town while you're away? Saray, are you sure about this? It's fine. No one who values contracts so highly would do anything sleazy. You passed the test. 
right, you bums, we got a job to do. We're staying in Marland and guarding it. Alpha and Bravo squad secure the perimeter. Charlie, handle things in town. I'll go tell the guards what's up. These orders come from the Shepherd himself. Don't slack off out there. What's this? Your change. It's our policy to accept a reasonable price for the job we do. Well, they're cheaper than we imagined. We may not look it, but we value our customers. standing on end. 
There's something lurking deep inside here. Yes, even I can sense something wrong I'm ready, here. I'm ready. Snacks were not built in a day, you know. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. forest was a ruin too. We haven't found a ruin yet that wasn't crawling with Hellions. The malevolence really is widespread. I'm sorry. <sighs> it tears me up inside seeing all these ruins defiled. But if we purify the Hellions while we explore the ruins, isn't that like two birds with one stone? Think about how jealous of our adventures literally every other historian and archaeologist will be. You're such a sweet, simple soul. You know that? Huh? You're right. Fretting over this won't get us any closer to our answers. We should all take a page out of Miklio's book and laugh at our worries. And if Saray thinks you're happy-go-lucky, I think Miklio's in shock. Let's get going, touchy-feely Miklio. Hey, you're doing this on purpose. Or for short, touchy-feelio. No, no nicknames. Could this be Elixir? The all-healing panacea made by Mautelus? Oh 
my! What a delightful butterfly! Whoops! I guess it's random o'clock again. Anyway, the elixir. You think it's the real thing? According to the celestial record, the methods used to make elixir were lost ages ago. And look! An icky beetle going creepo crawl a creepo crawl! I guess we won't know for sure unless we try it. You think that's safe? It'll just be a drop. Whoa! I feel rejuvenated! It is the real thing. Nice! Wish we could just buy this at the store. That'll be difficult. The only remaining elixir left in the world of humans is in custody of the church. The church, huh? <laughs> Ran out of bugs, I take it. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. To be prepared is to be protected. I concur. Ready? Yes! Is this like the plant boss of the area? No, it looks like a mutant hellion, like Ouroboros. Mutant hellion? It's probably the effect of the anomalous orbs. Just like the ones Knight Arthur and Echidna had. Let's keep our guard up. Break through! Burn away! Oh, oh,
Pretty impressive land skills. For a human. Like you would know what for a human even means. Shut up, Saray. Watching these two, it makes me think humans and Seraphim can get along. Now, the blessing should return to Marlin. Saray! Ah! Ah! Alicia! Eat this! You couldn't see it, could you? So the Squire's Pact is affecting you. No, I just wasn't paying attention. Alicia and Miklio nearly died because of you. Well, I'm not dead, and Saray was only hiding it for Alicia's sake. I understand that, but even so... He's at his limit. I know. Saray? Alicia! Thank goodness. Don't worry about me. It looks like we were able to expand Rohan's domain. Well, that's that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I do want to check in on Lucas's crew. Here. Thanks. Let's do this! How in Daylu! You can't just swing your sword around and win. What about swinging an umbrella around? Steady your nerves! He's on! It's over! 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 Looks like we win! Looks 
Let's begin the purification. Such is what I expect of the Seraphim's power. Preparing the gel. Hey there, Shepherd's Pie. As you can see, everything here is hunky-dory. Thanks. I knew you could handle it. How'd it go? We managed. Good to hear it. Then I guess it's time for us to pack up and ship on out. The guards are trickling back onto duty, and we've got a new job lined up already. Shall we take a break at the end for a spell? Sure. Let's just take it easy for today. And tomorrow, we'll be leaving Marland? Yeah, that's the idea. Why? What? Why? Huh? A seraph? So you are with this one. Why aren't you staying in Marland? What is your problem? Silence, brat. I'm asking the shepherd. 
Why are you throwing away the name you've earned for yourself from saving this town? Why throw yourself away like this? We've done all we can here. And I have more to learn elsewhere. That's all. How odd. You too? <laughs> Who are they? I don't know. But this means there are other humans who dwell with Seraphim besides me. Though they're assassins. Well, I say the hell with them. The more important issue is where we're headed next. Thought about it? I have. The Rollins Empire. Splendid idea. Hellions and ruins alike know no borders, after all. Trail. <laughs>